Brisbane, and the start of the day's work for the city's rat patrol. It may sound ludicrously old-fashioned, but there's no better way of hunting rats than with a good ratting dog. Brisbane has been using a rat patrol of trained and willing fox terriers for more than 30 years. The unit is claimed to be the only one of its kind in Australia, perhaps in the world. Morning, Health Branch, Boundary Street. The battle against rats is a never-ending one. Last year, the City Council received two and a half thousand calls for assistance. But the dogs are used primarily as detectors rather than hunters. Their handlers say that locating rats without a dog is as hard as finding a needle in a haystack. Yes, very well. We'll send the men out for you. Thank you. Cheerio. The rat control program is planned like a military operation and it takes the dogs on a constant search of houses, wharves, riverbanks and factories. The man in charge of the operation is Brisbane City Council's health surveyor, Mr Cliff Troughton. Mr Troughton, how important are the dogs to your rat control program? I feel they're very important. We primarily use them as a locator. They lead us to where the rats are living. Uh, after we've located them, it's up to the operator then to decide what he's going to do, whether he's going to dig out the burrows, kill the rats, or if he can't get to them, he'll leave poison behind so that we can control them. The council has used fox terriers for a period of about 30 years, and we've found that they are the best breed, the best temperament, and very good workers. If they see a rat, their one intent is on getting that rat. They're part of a team. The handler gets to know his dog, he knows his capabilities. Uh, he finds that he doesn't like the dog to become damaged in any way. Uh, you'll find that a dog, when it's attempting to catch a rat, it doesn't worry about timber, iron, glass or bottles. It will go for the rat. Normally they've uh, got two dogs and they'll bring one dog in and work it with the other dog. So they're starting off in this team atmosphere again and when he feels that the dog uh, is ready to work, uh, they, they approach the council, the foreman uh, tests the dog to see that it's quite capable and they come onto the council's payroll. How do you rate the rat problem in Brisbane? I feel that it's an ever-increasing battle with the rat. A pair of rats left undisturbed, if all their progeny survive, in ideal conditions at the end of a year will number approximately 1,200, and at the end of three years, 250,000. That's under ideal conditions. Uh, at this stage, the council has the problem under control. They're down to an acceptable level. Unlike some public servants, the terriers of the Brisbane Rat Patrol clearly enjoy their work. They're well looked after by their handlers, and they return the compliment by never demanding better working conditions or a rise in pay. And they have job security too, because theirs is one task that can never be done by machine. 